Russia, Kursk region, October 2020, corn harvesting. During the last days of the harvesting campaign, it is important not to lose even a single minute. We have the opportunity to see the work of a harvester equipped with a Russian-made self-driving system. The local farm has not yet worked with driverless systems, so we will watch the first attempt and see how it turns out. The Russian Cognitive Agro Pilot system can be installed on any modern combine harvester. The system takes control of the combine harvester and allows the driver to control the harvesting process more accurately. As a result, the productivity of the combine harvester increases by around 25%. It is important to note that the system works without GPS, does not require any additional infrastructure, and can be installed on the combine harvester very quickly. The project manager told us about this technology. A regular RGB camera is mounted on top of the mirror bracket. It is the main sensor of our system. The key difference from similar GPS self-driving systems is that we use computer vision to recognize the scene in front of us. That's why we don't need any corrections. We just see the edge in front of us, the system highlights rows and spacings, and forms a trajectory for taxiing. The main computing unit is under the cabin. This is the brain of the whole system. Its heart is the hydraulic control unit, the unit that is responsible for turning the wheels. On combine harvesters, the wheels are rotated hydraulically, and this unit controls the flow of liquids in the hydraulic cylinders used for wheel rotation. Now, let's see what's installed at the back. This is where our wheel sensor is installed in order to know where the combine harvester is relative to the position of the edge or row. The data is collected from the sensor, and we can accurately calculate the harvester's movement in space. Here in the cabin is a display that allows the operator to control the system. From here, the system is switched on and off with just one button. You can see the image from the camera and how the system sees the scene in front of you. And that's it! The operator activates the system by pressing a button. Further on, the system automatically leads the harvester, and at the end of the row, it switches off automatically. We do not need a base station. The main problem of the driving systems with GPS is that the harvester needs to maintain an accuracy of a few centimeters. The fact that we recognize the scene in front of us via computer vision means we do not create accumulating errors, and we can accurately position the harvester. Now we are ready to get to work. For now, the autopilot is off and the vehicle is controlled by the driver. Pay attention to how actively he has to drive in order to maintain his direction. It is no wonder that by the end of the shift, the driver gets very tired and starts to make mistakes, which eventually lead to the loss of both his personal income and the income of the farm. Now we can see the work of our self-driving system. The driver sets the harvester on a path, presses the on button, and releases the steering wheel. Now the harvester is controlled by a robot. While we are driving, let me tell you a story. On another farm, the drivers organized a harvesting competition. And on one combine, there was a self-driving system, whilst the other harvesters were operated manually. The self-driving harvester won, hands down. Its driver did not waste time for lunch in the field and had a snack right in the cab, on the move, due to the fact that his hands were completely free. It seems that the combine harvester just goes in a straight line, and no autopilot is needed for this. But remember how much the operator, working in the same field, had to fight to stay in position when the system was turned off. Now we are reaching the end of the row, and the autopilot detects this and gets turned off automatically. Everything went well, and the robo-harvester goes to the next row. We are doing one more pass, and again, the automatic system works flawlessly. Afterwards, the initial skepticism of the driver faded, and he began to fully appreciate the potential of this technology. The drivers realize that the system is not a competitor. It's not here to take his job, but instead to become his reliable assistant. Right now in Russia, hundreds of harvesters are equipped with cognitive agro-pilot systems. And there is no doubt that soon the count will be in the thousands, or even tens of thousands of systems. What we saw in this cornfield is certainly a real Russian technological miracle. But in a few years, it'll surely be perceived as just everyday farming in Russia.